Secrets of the Pink Kush, Amazon Women and the Trojan Wars, written by William H. Bradshaw, Dipple T. CPIM. This information is derived from my book, Secrets of the Pink Kush. Some knowledge revealed here may not be in the book exactly as, as detailed here, as this is more speculative, but the main premise is derived from the book. Please note that I am not an occultist or religious, but a scientist, and my objective is to remain unbiased and only present the facts that I discovered during my lengthy research project. Most of this video is fact, but some of what is contained here is speculation in an attempt to explain some of these ancient mysteries. Who? Amazon, according to Homer, means anti anarial which is the prefix anti meaning against, and an aerial, an airy, meaning men of honor. This may equate to mean women against men of honor, or perhaps simply means women of honor. This defines the Amazon, perhaps as a group of women who hate men, uh, who employ the concept of honor with their own, within their own system. Their actions of repeated attacks against the men and women of Greek villages support this hypothesis. <clears throat> the Amazon women could, with ease, kill any normal man due to their superior strength and intellect. They were vastly superior. These women were real and did exist. My book, Secrets of the Pink Kush, explains how they came into existence and many more of the secrets of the tetraploid humans. They were actual descendants of the Anunnaki. How? The Amazon women were a race of giants. They were giants because they had four sets of chromosomes compared to the normal two sets of chromosomes of most people. This is an extremely rare occurrence where the human is genetically modified by accident. This strange phenomenon can occur when the cells are prevented from dividing during meiosis, which is conception the moment when the egg is fertilized. This is called polyploidism and can occur in any living organism, including plants, insects, fish, mammals, animals, and humans. It is for this reason of polyploidism, and this reason alone, that made the Amazon women so intellectually advanced and physically superior to even the smartest and largest of normal men. Why? The Amazon women were initially starred with the cult of Demeter around 12,000 years ago by Demeter, the original goddess from Atlantis. She was a wife of Poseidon, and she was the goddess of agriculture and essentially held a role as queen of heaven. Eventually, the women formed their own society, which excluded men. They would mate with the other existing tetraploid men, male giants, once a year in order to maintain their population. All male babies were abandoned in the forest to die from exposure. This ensured that no man could ruin their advanced culture of enlightenment. The peak of their existence appears to culminate around 1300 BC. Their entire system was that of a truly singular matriarch society. That is a society completely without men. Where? The evidence points to a war between the Mycenaeans and Hittites. The Hittites are essentially a major war tribe of Israel. This was probably a war between a male-oriented patriarch society of the Greeks versus a matriarchal society of the Hittites, or Hebrews. The Amazons fought on the side of the Trojans, but were defeated by the Greeks. This appears to be the last time the city of Troy was inhabited. Ares was supposedly on the side of the Trojan, and he was a, a the father of, of one of the Amazon queens, and he was a known tetraploid male human being. The women would and could call on men, both diploid humans and tetraploid humans, to fight for them and to worship them as goddesses. This is where the cult of Demeter merely went into the adornment state that would be resurrected later. Using deceit as a left-hand path was part of the doctrine of the enlightened one, Lucifer, or the morning star, or Venus. When at some time around 1200 BC, most, if not all, of the giants had either relocated to extremely remote areas of the world or to the hollow earth if they were permitted. It seems that the humans were not going to tolerate any more giant warlords, or at least for the time being. What? Tetsploid women had actually helped to create civilization among humans. Amazon women founded several cities and temples, including those of Smyrna, Sinope, Syme, Grine, Ephesus, Petania, Magnesia, Clite, Pygelia, Latoria, and Amastris. The Amazon women invented the cavalry as well as many other weapons and tactics. Who were the Amazon women? The Amazon women were a race of giants living in Turkey. They were very real and very dangerous as they were a powerful and feared warrior race of giant women. Nobody was permitted to live in the Amazon country because that was their domain and they vigorously defended their territory. 
They invented the cavalry, executed successful raids on Greek villages, and actually fought in the Trojan Wars. The big secret is that the Amazon women were actually to exploit humans, but this scientific premise was not known at the time until this author, myself, William H. Bradshaw, made the amazing discovery about polyploidism and its ability to create giants. Tetraploid humans have a double set of chromosomes, making them grow much larger than normal. They are extremely powerful, intelligent, and live much longer than normal people. They grow approximately into twice the size of normal humans. This fact is based upon other scientific research that suggests that these giant Amazon women were approximately 10 to 12 feet tall. The Amazon women would sometimes cut off one of their breasts in order to make them better archers. But it would not impede their um, activity. The operation was performed because the large breasts could impede their ability when the string of the bow was drawn across the body. The Amazon women fought in the Trojan Wars, presumably on keeping their aunt Helen, who was kidnapped, or more likely willingly left her husband, King Menelaus, Menelaus and office as Queen of Sparta for his seducer and lover, Paris, and the city of Troy. The Greeks eventually defeated the Trojans, and the city of Troy was razed. The objective of the Amazons was to create a Hellenistic society, which was an incarnation of the cult of Demeter doctrines, which are essentially the worship of divas, the control of men, and ultimately an, uh, an apparently illuminated society, enlightened society. This meant implementing a matriarch society among the, dip, the normal humans and to control mankind. The queen of the Amazon women was the daughter of Ares, who was the god of war and the son of Zeus. Helen of Troy was a sister of Ares, thus making Helen a tetraploid female. Heinrich Schliemann discovered the city of Troy in the 19th century, thus proving that the city did exist and was not a myth as was previously believed. Many scholars still dispute some of the finds at Troy, such as the mask of Agamemnon, because it did not fit in with the known culture of the Greeks. The reason for this claim was probably due to the fact that Troy was a city and a culture designed by tetraploid humans and not Greeks who were diploid humans. The scholars are still unaware of these biological differences and still remain stymied until they accept the fact that giants did and do exist. The Amazon women were not myths, and neither was Helen of Troy, as Heinrich Schliemann has proven. Our entire Western civilization is known as the Hellenistic, which is named after Helen of Troy. This is more evidence that the Western world will be created as a matriarchal society with actual societal input from these Amazon women. Sirens and mermaids. It was said that one of the Amazon women used to be a siren. This is implications for other purported myths. Sirens would lure men into, in their ships to their death and then plunder the cargo. Many have believed this to be a myth, but it is probably the truth. These women were great swimmers as are the male tetraploid humans. This is evidenced by their known whereabouts in many underground water, cave water systems. This is what the mermaids may have been as well, merely another name for the sirens. Secrets of the Pink Kush. It reveals the science and facts behind these tetraploid humans. They do not want their existence known, and they have help from some people among us. Find out whom, and more importantly, why. Read Secrets of the Pink Kush for more knowledge of the occult and many other topics that are related by a certain lily plant that could potentially cure cancer, kill animals, people, or create polyploids, such as the tetraploid humans, or create superior plants like the Pink Kush, which is also a tetraploid, but a cannabis plant. The book also describes how to breed and grow superior plants and cannabis in particular. There is knowledge in this book that is not found anywhere else in this world among the te among the, uh, the, uh, except amongst the tetraploid humans, and they are keeping it a secret. Thank you for your interest in this topic. Uh, secrets of the secrets pinkcush.zappersoftware.com.